So earlier today, Dazzler joined the ranks of Marvel Snap. This is a new 4-4 with an ongoing effect. If you have four cards at each location, it gets plus six power, making it effectively a 4-10, which is really nice and big if you're able to fill up your board. And there are a couple different ways you can do that. A few different Dazzler decks I wanted to try out. There's things like, you know, Ultron and Patriot you can do together. You can do stuff with like Thanos and a bunch of Infinity Stones. Two deck ideas we're probably going to explore later this week. But first off, I actually wanted to see how Dazzler interacted with uh, Shauna. Got this card last week. Still really feel like I haven't spent enough time with Shauna. So I thought we'd have this cool dynamic duo of Shauna and Dazzler filling up your board since they're both awesome four cost cards. We threw a Zabu in here to help discount those. That works nicely with things like Kazar, who's also buffing your Shauna. And then you've got Moon Girl who can duplicate these things, giving you multiple Dazzlers, for instance, which really helps pack a big punch, putting two different two tins into play on various locations. And to round it off, we've got other cards that are helping us fill locations with things like Ultron, Squirrel Girl, or benefit from filled locations like Mojo or Ant-Man, and then just some, you know, complimentary buffs like Blue Marvel. So all in all, this plays a lot like a kind of classic zoo deck, but with this Zabu and four drop throughput that adds a lot of extra potential and power out of this deck. And I have to say, you know what? It worked surprisingly well for a day one deck. This is certainly not refined, of course. We don't have a ton of data, but was still winning a fair bit and uh, offered some nice surprise opportunities as well with Ultron. So it seemed to have some solid cube potential as well. So I'm curious to see how this archetype shakes out and how this compares to other varieties of Dazzler decks, which I certainly will probably try to play myself here in the very near future. Okay, Ant-Man on one's good. Mojo Ant-Man together is a little greedy, <clears throat> but maybe not impossible. Maybe Dazzler is just bad. You you take it back. Look at her. How could she be bad? She's got glowing things coming out of her hands. That's a recipe for success if I've ever seen it. We actually need to start building. I, I, I need a construct because we actually need to build a lane for Dazzler right now. In fact, I guess mid is, is maybe a good place to do it. Oh, actually right is also a good place to do it. Now that we have Zabu in particular, it'll be much easier to get all this going. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a great top deck. This is a great top deck. Obviously, anytime you draw Zabu is good, right? Oh, Cerebro is going to get wrecked by uh, Nita Valir unless they have a way to wipe this out. Um, I really want the Dazzler in hand on turn five, don't I? Oh, Shauna's back to four because of the stupid Baron Mordo. Dang it. Um... So the idea here is to play two Dazzlers on turn five and then just play Ultron on six. Is that actually good enough? Like, do we think the two Dazzlers carry or am I better off just playing Blue Marvel on five? Then I'm not really copying anything compelling though is the thing like the moon girl is basically doing nothing, which I mean, I, she's, she's four power, I guess. She's four power, I guess, but I think I think the blue marvel line just will make more sense, won't it? Which means we're gonna put Gotta figure out where to put this power, right? We have a couple power units here, but we don't expect Mojo to actually fill up much. I think the Dazzler actually goes right, and I think Blue Marvel goes somewhere over here. Blue Marvel probably goes left now. Because that's not the highest power position over there. It might jump to being much better if they do go for a, a, a location wipe right. Oh, we got a little eyeball. He's excited. Bill loves Dazzler. How fun. But we know they've got a lot of power here, so this seems like the place for Blue Marvel, right? And then just uh, Ultron right should be fine. Scarlet Witch, yeah, okay, so that's that's kind of what we expected, right? Just given the fact that uh, they, they, We knew that wiped their their Cerebro. So are we big enough here? Ultron's really only getting uh, Plus two plus two over there or plus one plus one over there is four and then another uh, three for the Ant-Man seven uh, That's eleven that actually does tie 
I counted right. No, 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 it does not tie. No. We're only adding seven, not adding 11. 11 is the, 12 is the amount. Do we win mid and right? Eh, maybe. Let's see. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. We're going to win right for sure because Dazzler's huge, right? But. <clears throat> Ah, oh, for sure, he says. <laughs> is Dazzler big enough? Oh, it is! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Blue Marvel Dazzler. Oh, answering the Valkyrie. Let's go, dude. That's amazing. They actually had the perfect counter, but this is ongoing. She doesn't care, dude. Dazzler doesn't care. I've, been, I've actually had Cerebro 3s with Valkyrie on, the, on, the, on my like list of decks to play on stream for a long, long time. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, let's wait on the squirrel girl here. Feels like that's a little premature. We might have time for it later. There is... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, there is some arguments of playing it now to get uh, moon girl hand positioning better, and I think we're going to. Particularly because it got increased cost, which is good, because that means it didn't increase the cost of Zabu or something, right? Okay, I guess Zabu's going mid, that's fine. So this is gonna have Dazzler, Shauna, in the moon girl that's pretty cool Something like that we can put a dazzler left and mid because we don't want dazzler going right since she's an ongoing effect are we willing to play a shauna now let's think about this we don't really need to by any means that means we have one spot left available we have one spot in each location i have two dazzlers i want to play they have to go left and mid that would leave me a turn six play. Otherwise, we might not have time to play the Shauna. Okay, I, I actually think this is correct. Oh, okay. that That's not ideal, but we'll sort it out. Shoot, now I'm going to have to use like an Ultron, I think, later. Uh, Ultron mid or something. Because Blue Marvel won't be good enough anymore. But the double dazzler's pretty sick. Uh, we have to play Ultron mid in this case because he won't work left and right. He won't fill. So, so yeah, I mean, if we had to, we could like double debris or something too. But Ultron should be the right play. Ultron's not that good because we don't have any any way to buff the, the, the they're they're still small, right? Like it actually makes left weaker, I guess. Like Rocha loses a power, <laughs> so that's Shauna getting a. Uh, Getting countered by Cosmo did hurt a little more than we'd like to admit, probably. Shauna so far seems much better than Dazzler, and Darkhawk is so OP. He's stupid. Yeah, n n none of these new four drops seem to be anywhere close to the Darkhawk power level. Compared to the, the previous cards that came out before them, right? Inzabu and Darkhawk. This new round of cards is just so weak. I think Sauron's pretty solid. But not as good as Abu or Darkhawk. They're both just crazy good. Opponent is thinking a lot about these Dazzlers. Not sure what to do. I don't know either, so welcome to the party. Uh, surely that's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. I can't fill. Oh, I can't add a card. Uh, I lied. Uh, but maybe this is good enough now? Even though it doesn't, uh, doesn't buff the Dazzlers, maybe we just get big enough across both of these because we're winning left. We just need to win one of the other spots seven and uh we're adding six so 13. i i suspect this might be okay actually that's a pretty sneaky professor x but i think this could be okay it might be hard for them to add the power in the right shape here so that leaves right hopefully it looks like more is fine if right is uncontested right that color's fine yeah we out sneaked the sneakiness Good little pivot there, the double dazzler not exactly going to plan, but yeah, it worked out. Zabu carried that game really, if you think about it. So we'll take it. Uh Alright, Mojo. Are you one of those odd people that shave the corn cob off the cob before eating it? Oh, shave the corn off the cob. Your sentence didn't make sense at first. It does now. I, I know how to read. No, but my wife is, and I think it's very strange. 
I like getting in there, getting dirty, you know. I want to get in there and get, get, uh, you know, I want to get sloppy. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man is more irritating now because it was Orbit Man copying him. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I feel like that's a pretty unhealthy pattern. I 100% agree with you. Uh, this Iceman buff is killing me here because we'd love to play Blue Marvel into Ultron normally. Perhaps that's still correct. Just Dazzler here, Blue Marvel here, Ultron here. A little sad that we're not going to benefit from Stark Tower in that case. We could just put the Ultron here. Blue Marvel here, but I really want to win Baxter building in particular, right? Because of the roll off. We want to make sure we're getting that plus three. Ooh, okay. Well, that means Blue Marvel's going left, but that still creates the same problem where we're not really benefiting a lot off Stark Tower. But hopefully Ultron is still surprising enough. These Polarises have kind of wrecked us today, man. They're really good. First thing we did after getting Absorbing Man was make a deck with Leader and Spider-Man. Uh, shame All on you. No, I, I played, played Spider-Man and Absorbing Man to infinite, so I, I'm not uh, above this conversation. Just, you know, I both abused it and recognized how abusive it is. <laughs> you know, I, uh, again, don't hate the player, hate the game on these. But I, I don't I don't think we should really have Absorbing Man Spider-Man in the game. Feels really frustrating. It just, it, you know, it just shuts down the game so hard. It's another Zabu issue, though. It, it ties back to Zabu, right? It's, you, you can't play both in one turn normally, and then Zabu changes that rule. So, I, you know, Zabu just needs to be less strong. I, th I think everybody recognizes Zabu is outrageously good. Da, 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 da. Okay, give me the Killmonger, baby. Can't wait to lose everything. Oh, we didn't. Nice. Cool. No Killmonger. Beautiful. Actually nuts. As we saw earlier, Sil Silver Surfer decks with Killmonger just absolutely gut us, but they didn't have it. Maybe they didn't see it coming. Maybe they did. I don't know. Dazzler carried, by the way, though. We, lo we win by four. Trying to think here how we how we win games <laughs> really big interesting question there how do we win games limbo limbo is fine we uh we will definitely fill the board by the time limbo is is done no doubt about that have they indicated how many series of cards there will be i think it's five plus the what they're calling the big bads which is uh thanos and galactus and maybe more in the future they said although nothing planned i think was the wording so two dazzlers is pretty nice actually that's really big Two debris I'm probably less excited about. Although we could try to start locking up our opponent's stuff. I don't know. Two Dazzlers is big though. Oh, that is very early. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> oh, they got it back though. Of course it's locked John. No, no, they're gonna get it back. Um, I guess the double debris though here might help us out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. They might help us stop that a little bit. <laughs> Sound like a double debris. We're not gonna need the double Ultrons this game, I don't think. I'd rather play the debris because it's asymmetrically advantaged in my favor. That's only true if they don't fill their board up. Uh, man, my this is probably my internet. I've been having oh yeah, it is. I've been having really spotty internet the last two days. I actually meant to reboot everything before I started the stream, but I forgot. Oh boy. Uh, let's see if I can get back. Nope. Cool. 
And that was gonna be a really fun game. I'm so sad. Are we back? 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 We're in the game. We uh, we did miss a turn, maybe ish. I think. Uh. Okay. You got a chance? I'm back. You guys see me? I'm back. I missed the whole turn. I think I missed my turn five. I guess. Bonus board is full. We have free reign. Uh, B Blue Marvel does not win the game. How much am I adding here? We're adding another uh, six and five is 11. I'm going to 34. I'm winning. Oh, but I'm winning. No, I'm not winning here. I'm, I'm tying here. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I, both the Dazzlers are here. Surely that wins a tie. I'm adding another 12 and another, that's 15. So I'm gonna be up five, uh, 17. Plus, plus, uh, this wins, this wins, this wins, this wins. This wins, we win the tie. Boom. Let's go. I even missed a large part of the turn. You, you should never play these out in real life. But on stream, you know, we have the luxury. Number one, I'm at the rank floor, so who cares? And number two, I want you guys to see the end of games. It's re it's more rewarding of a viewer experience to see the end of games, but um, my retreat rate is normally north of 20% when I'm actually trying to play, so you will not see me retreating 20% of games on stream. You see me retreating like 2%. <laughs> it's quite dramatic fall off. All right, uh, Shuri's lab's gonna swap out, so we'll get room there again later. We should play everything there until Starlight Citadel. Might move left and we lose space, but that's okay. Moon Girl here really doesn't feel very good. Zabu, same story though. Double Blue Marvel's not really relevant. I mean, I guess we could, if we top decked really specifically, Zabu would be a little bit better. For like a turn six, because I could go Blue Marvel on five, turn six, just play some four drops, Kzar Dazzler or something. That's an Ultron. Okay, so that's no longer a surprise, but also they just have an Ultron. Could be quite large. Citadel goes left. Okay, so we can move Nightcrawler out to make space here. That's not a problem. Okay, I like the blue Marvel Kzar now. That's a little more interesting. Even with just the Squirrel Girl, that's okay. Oh, that is not... I, I'm stupid. I, I did not pay attention. I thought this was Shuri's lab. I'm stupid. We wanted to go right, of course. Um, ah, they're revealing first. That's tough. They knew I was gonna misplay. They were like, no, not, 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 no, or you just, no. Am I really one, one playoff here from, uh, oh, 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 oh. Here, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, This fills up the, so this makes us really big right but do we need to be that big right do i prefer to get a little bigger mid this is the most total power but is it in the right places yeah i don't know this is where they're gonna add power to potentially they may not they may not expect this much power dump coming in by the way the zabu line is exactly what we talked about right that's kind of crazy squirrel girl getting doubled is funny uh, but I think I think we want the zero here and the ones here for the record or the threes, whatever they are, but you know what I mean. Maximus is very big. Are we beating that? We are, right? We're beating Maximus. We're beating left though. Losing a lot. We're adding three left. Oh, we're adding more than three left. Getting the squirrel too. I forgot that those are getting buffed. The ninja even gets buffed. This is perfect. We're gonna win all three lanes, dude. Great game. Perfect. Also, look how interesting this math is. You see this? We won by two and by four and by eight. And they went from five to 15 to 20. All these numbers are just quite pleasing. 
I love it. Yeah, Dazzler got big, dude. Great game. Yeah, the Zabu created that opportunity, right? Like identifying the potential Zabu top decks really helped us. That was nice. If we hadn't played that Zabu, if we'd gone for the other line, this game would have gone much, much worse. One location, one card, one card. Okay, that's not going to be completed with this deck. That's for sure. <laughs> We're not going to be doing the win a location with one card with our Dazzler deck, I don't think. It would be cool if we did, but I just don't see it happening. All right, Squirrel Girl we'll hold on to, I guess. We could be a good enabler for Moon Girl, but I don't see us Moon Girling if we don't have Zabu. Which we might hit Zabu, but... Corn Cob. Corn Cob TV. Is Corn Cob a streamer, guys? Do you know Corn Cob? Do you know the Corn Cob TV? I don't know who this is. They might be a streamer though. Go check them out on Twitch. I hope they're not insulted if I don't know who they are. <laughs> That's not my intent, I promise. Ah, Zabu on top on three. That's pretty cool. Moon Girl though here, I, I don't think particularly interesting. I, uh, debris is fine. I mean, oh, never mind. Debris is gonna hurt. Ah, Moon Girl Dazzler is much more fun. We're not going to be winning Asgard, but with Moon Girl, it's kind of okay. I just don't know if we're going to be strong enough, right? Two Dazzlers does not feel like enough to carry here to me. Um, I'm also worried about their own uh, debris here locking me out. Yep. So now we have to somehow win right. I mean, we can buff across with, you know, stuff. We can hit a, we can hit a Kzar or Blue Marvel or whatever and try to buff that, buff that spot, but it's going to be tough. Okay, so... <laughs> have at it. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, Corn Cow. Do your best, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just let's see what they can muster. I think they got it. Polaris is big. That's big enough, surely. Oh, Mojo's really big. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah, nice. Corn Cobb got there. <laughs> he gave me what I wanted. I just couldn't get the Dazzler in the right spot, man. If Dazzler was over here, I think we would have had a really good shot. Like they'd played the debris right, you know, which of course they played the right spot and everything, but we, we would have gotten a little more opportunity there. The cor I got I got corn cobbed. By the way, <laughs> I got that sounds I don't know that sounds like a thing I don't know is that a thing maybe I need to look that up before I say I got corn cobbed live on stream. I don't know if you can do that on Twitch. <laughs> You may not be allowed to get corn cobbed on Twitch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a thing to me, though. Sure of that. All right, Sabri's fine. Yeah, we've got Kazar in particular, so getting our rocks uh, bumped up here is nice. Zabu, of course, on two. Scary. Super flow. Okay, at least we disrupted that for both of us. Hey, we got our own Zabu. Nice. Uh, let's spread our power around a little here. We would love a Moon Girl Dazzler, but we're not going to have time, I guess, for all that, are we? Seems like no is the answer. Corn Cob uh, refers to being destroyed in a debate or social situation. Uh, I think that's because of that, uh, that, that viral tweet a long time ago. There was that tweet like, uh, I, I, I turned into a Corn Cob thing, tweet thing. As I recall, we're locking up too early here, probably, aren't we? Maybe we. These are all so cheap. Maybe we. Maybe we wait a turn or two here. Chana at the end is probably a bit better than, than otherwise. Let's chill. Let's not overcommit early. Get a feel for the shape of the game before we go nuts here. Uh, that makes me a little sadder, I guess. Still with Elysium, we're so... It's so cheap. Uh, Mojo certainly feels like it's going to connect. Shauna here... 
leaves me one spot. That still feels too early, but she's bigger than Ultron most of the time. But I might want to just play an 8 power Ultron next turn, because if I don't hit Blue Marvel, I'm not... I mean, Dazzler is better and score, but that's it. A Dazzler and Blue Marvel, and I have the luxury to play. This is fine, yeah. In other words, I don't need to wait. It's fine. This is fine. Friendly neighborhood oh, Spider-Man's Spider cool. We're here. filled there anyway. That's fine. As long as we're big enough. I think we could... Oh, my. Well, actually, yeah. Ultron still fixes this problem. He's just not big enough, is he? Oh no, he doesn't fix the problem. Shauna fills her own spot like an idiot. Oh, Shauna, you idiot. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. How's oh how sad, dude. If we played Shauna right, how could we have known? They obviously could have put the absorbing man here. How could we have known? Can't win right. I can't win mid, so we lose. We lose. Yeah, Nightcrawler's giving it his best. How do I feel about the current meta? Uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, I guess. I, I Zabu's really strong. It seems like Zabu and Silver Surfer are defining everything, which I, I, I think would be nice for a change, you know? If we could mix it up a little bit, I'd be happy. But I'm not, like, too frustrated by any particular thing. I actually prefer this to seeing Leader everywhere, frankly. I just got so sick of seeing leader every single game. Power level conversations aside, it's just annoying to see him all the time. Wow. Isle of Silence Mamojo, man. Uh, okay, that's a lot of threes. Ooh, th th is th 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 we got Dazzler off Triskelion. <laughs> that's not my top deck, that's crazy. Okay, I like that. So they didn't go for Death's Domain, by the way, which I find really intriguing. They, they, that must indicate that they have a play here. Maybe they're going to play Brood here or something and uh, go for it there like that. That could be the that could be the line. Uh, I got to think about how to get an Ultron Dazzler down here. We can't put Ultron right, but we can put it mid. So Shauna fills mid Death's Domain one spot here. We move Nightcrawler over on six. Or am I putting Blue Marvel then, though? No, we're moving Nightcrawler here. We're putting Blue Marvel mid. No, we can't put Blue Marvel mid. Blue Marvel goes right. Ultron goes mid, I guess, later. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, no, this is fine. <laughs> Could do White Tiger, too, technically, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Squirrel Girl actually screws me! Shoot! I needed this space! That's where Blue Marvel was supposed to go! Dang it! Shauna, dude, you suck! Uh. <sighs> I can go for White Tiger, but it's just, it's not that strong, right? It's the problem. I mean, it does make Dazzler pretty big, I guess. Hey, Mrs. Kilvin, what's up? Ow. How do you feel about corn cobs? You, you want a corn cob tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes! <laughs> Guys, I gotta go. See you later. It's been a good stream. I don't know what a corn cob is, but it sounds fun. We'll do it tonight. I'll, I'll look it up, okay? I'll do some research. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's just wait a turn so we don't give them too much information. Mm, oh, oh, ongoing effects are disabled. <laughs> get, get wrecked, Professor X, dude. All right, hopefully this is enough. Hopefully this is enough. They should, they could have played that left earlier, but we got big soon enough, I guess. So is Dazzler big enough? I mean, that's a 12 point advantage, right? That feels big enough to me. And certainly left feels big. Maybe they're trusting I can't fill the, the Dazzler. But we can, baby. Dazzler OP. Let's go. Corn cobs and bear claws got nothing on us, man. Victory. 
Even though Shauna kind of screwed me there, because we'd be way stronger, right? If we'd played Blue Marvel on five over here and then finished on White Tiger instead. Uh, do you know about the Twitch plugin where you can hover over the cards and view the context of it? Yeah, I wondered, uh, I wondered if it, uh, I thought, I thought Untapped had, um, I have an extension turned on, but I didn't know if it worked for you guys or not, because my layout is really weird. That's the moral of the story. I, I actually have an extension turned on for Marvel Snap, but I don't, I don't know how it works exactly, and if it's, if it's using screen reading or if there's some other mechanism, and it, it's like I'm zoomed in and stuff, and so I, oh, ego. So I don't know if it works, but let me know if it does or doesn't. I'm curious to learn. I bet we're good with Ego, man. We have a lot of just like good, cheap, playable stuff like curve filling. Oh, did they snap? I gotta snap back. We gotta snap the Ego, man. We gotta, we gotta give a fist bump and snap the Ego. I am Ego. All right. <clears throat> Move that Nightcrawler, baby. Zabu's cool. Oh, they fist bump me. Did they get Zabu too? Oh, Cosmo. Okay. That, uh, that could be disruptive to us for sure. Mojo's good over there, though. That's a good spot for Shauna. That's okay. Leaves a little room available for other plays, but still fills me up nicely. Ultron left would still be big. I mean, that might be okay. The, the good news is having all these cheap cards is right. We're just getting a lot of stuff. It's maybe not going to be in the best spot. It's not going to be the most powerful, but it's just a lot of stuff. Sometimes just having a lot of stuff wins. I'd love if we could hit something like uh, Blue Marvel too, just to ensure that uh, we get some extra power added. Is he gonna? Is he gonna play a destroyer and wipe all of this, dude? Oh my god! Oh no! Don't fill me up. Maybe that's okay. We do get buffed by Stark Tower at least. I could live with that, I guess. Is he gonna play? Is he gonna get a destroyer that wipes the board? Oh my god, dude, that would be so delightful. He can't go left on the Cosmo now, so. I am. I am uh, <laughs> All systems go. Oh no! What's oh, gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh god. Yeah, good luck, buddy. A big eight cuber here. Surely he can't win. There's no way. How do you beat two spots? There's just no way, right? Yeah. That's not... Sick, dude. One power advantage left. Holy crap. Victory. Oh, man. If this had rolled like a Nova or something instead of a human torch. Woo! Ego. Thank you for the cubes, buddy. Oh, okay. So Ultron can fix that problem. We've got the Dazzler in hand, too. So we can build a really strong lane. Oh, Sinister London also fixes that problem. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we'll just put a bunch of Dazzlers around. That should be fine. Certainly with Synergy London I, and, and Ultron here, we expect to fill up the, uh, fill up the spots. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, man, I, I really wish everyone could be here when we make the deck, because there's a lot of the same questions over and over again, which is not your fault, but, uh, you all miss the, the various conversations about Patriots and Ultrons and and all these uh, These things that we've decided to do That you're missing. Sorry to say uh, Okay, Shauna We're gonna have double Dazzler Which means this actually fills that location, but but I can't put it there because then but if I don't play Shauna, oh, I still get these three. Okay, I can do this. I can play Nightcrawler. That's fine. This leaves me a little bit more flexibility. Um, that makes my life a lot harder though, because everything just got really expensive, huh? Do not want to be spending four energy on these Dazzlers. Um, I mean, in theory though, so let's see, that copies, we can just move this here whenever. That copies on turn five, we play another Dazzler. How many How many spots do I have open, right? Let's do that, eight and nine. If I play each of these is two, four, 
uh this is another three is uh seven and then whatever we decide to play truly ultrons will fill the remaining locations um we're not gonna be very buffed though it's really just gonna be the dazzlers that are powerful uh, I can play the squirrel girl. Oh no, I gotta play this turn because I'm, oh, I'm on turn five already. Oh no, this plan's not good. I don't know, whatever. Dazzlers over Ultrons in that case, right? Because I think we can fill up anyway. Ooh, Ant-Man's really good with Dazzler. Yeah, that's perfect. This is fine. So now we have double Dazzler mid, Dazzler left, and Ant-Man right. I do kind of wish I could get... I kind of have to do it this way because I definitely want the double Dazzlers. Uh, is this big enough? I, they're already at 16, man. I, it doesn't feel big enough to me, does it? Why are these so big? Oh, the double Forge. Yeah, that's right. I mean, certainly Silver Surfer here is pretty nuts with Sinister London. I don't think the Dazzlers are big enough. I'm too lazy to figure it out. But, uh, oh, Rhino. Oh, that, that, that ruins me, dude. Oh, that super ruins me. <laughs> okay, man. Well, we didn't have a chance. Screw us, I guess. Uh, for now, we Squirrel Girl. If you're only looking at total power and not power in the right places, you're going to lose a lot of Marvel Snap games, right? Sometimes it's about putting the power in the places it matters and will be meaningful as opposed to just getting as much as possible. If that makes sense. Yeah, Kiln's gonna lock up anyway. We can Shauna and then just Kazar. Yeah, this is fine. Shauna, I guess. Man, I don't, Shauna's like a little overkill to be honest right now. We can use that as a surprise later though as well. So maybe just Kazar for now, or Dazzler for now. Dazzler now, Kazar Ant-Man on five. Kazar has to go mid probably, Ant-Man goes right, and then Shauna goes right. Final turn. Okay, they're feeling confident, let's see. Are they running Ebony Maw? I feel like people always run the cards of their portrait. <laughs> Like it's especially if it's Silver Surfer. If it's Silver Surfer, they always have Silver Surfer. That's just a universal truth, I think. Ooh, they are very big. Okay. Typhoid Mary actually helping us a little bit. That's nice. Uh so we think Shauna's going right, actually. We said right, yeah. So we think we're gonna win left, maybe, although Dracula obviously introduces a ton of doubt there. So next turn we can Shauna Ant-Man, or if we hit an Ultron, we might Ultron instead. We'll have to see how we feel about it. Sadly, Mojo not getting activated because of the Dracula there, but it's all good. Oh my. Okay. Um, yeah. I, we need Ebony Maul, right? Like, Dracula is obviously very, very potentially large, so. We need Ebony Maw. <laughs> I mean, mid, we, well, I, right is so big too. I, I, I think we're going to have to lose mid, we think, aren't we? Like, this just seems impossible. Because right, we're not going to win. Because the Typhoid Mary is just carrying so hard right. We're only adding a tiny baby amount of power right, which doesn't contest. So yeah, I think, I mean, Dazzler can can get there mid though. We're up by six, we're adding another six. That No, that's that's reasonable enough. That, let's try this, but Dracula can beat us too. There's a lot of ways to lose here. Oh, they went right. Oh, that actually surprises me. Org, not as relevant. We needed that Ebony Maw. Right, it's so hard to add power to. Maybe an Atuma here? Zero. Oh, easy game, dude. <laughs> easy game. We were just dumping stuff to make the Dracula big enough. Yeah. Uh, I don't really understand the new card release model. You can only get them if you're lucky with your shop. Yeah. Or if you have every card like I do. <laughs> well, I don't have Sentry, but basically that means he's, he's always the card I get right before the shop refresh. 
and then it, it it always tries to re-roll into a new card so then i get uh the new card every time i'll eventually get sentry too i'm just I'm just not rushing through it i don't really care too much about sentry to be honest okay uh debris is chill let's spread out these stats a little although we do want a man in a spot we think we're definitely filling this might be mid might get a rock right this is a, this is a good start to a nice little hand here oh Zabu, we've got a lot of rocks in deck. I don't I don't think this is gonna be a Zabu sort of game, right? I think it's gonna be a K Zabu Marvel sort of game. Okay, an extra rock for them. That's nice. Congrats on your rock, idiot. <laughs> it's so hostile. Uh we're definitely not gonna get a dazzler in this game, so we just need to think about how we're gonna win, right? That's the What's the right way to win? Oh, we gave them a blue marvel. Ugh. Oh, Ultron's a good way to win. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go big mid then and go big left. Although they do have a lead left, so maybe we go big right here instead. Yeah, it's better. We're already behind left, so. Let's try to win right and mid in this case. Nightcrawler does mean they can add quite a bit more power mid, but I'm assuming they're just going to play a blue marvel here. I don't know where they're going to put it, but probably mid. Which is good. Blue marvel himself is pretty small at any given location. So, uh, this doesn't feel good, but it's worth a shot. Assuming Nightcrawler moves out, but can they get big enough to take right? We can actually snipe left if they don't do anything left, right? We're adding uh, four power left, so. No, 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 six power left. They got Kazar. So, I mean, we're, we're definitely got a chance here. We're contesting across all three lanes. I think they're gonna move Nightcrawler left and then try to play something mid to take mid, but I don't know what it would be. Like a leader into an Ultron would be decent, I guess. 